Bienvenue to the upper floor of our very old townhouse. Just how old is it? That's something we're not sure about yet, but we found some clues that might help us figure that out. Oh, hello. Salut. We're Beth. And Patrick. And we're moving to France. We're transforming an old townhouse into our home and an artsy event space. So come on along. Step across the gorgeous herringbone parquet floor with us, and let's take a closer look at what we've been calling the fancy bedroom. Details in this room point to it being one of the oldest parts of the house. We were told by the realtors that the house was from the mid-1850s, but as you'll soon see, that can't be the whole truth. We're in the historic part of town, not far from the royal castle, as we showed you in our last video. The streets are a mix of shops, hotels, and pretty but simple facades that often conceal grand interiors. It makes us wish we could take a peek inside all of them. This house has so many interesting nooks and crannies, rooms that have been adjusted and adapted over the past 200 years or more, rooms that we don't know the original purpose of and objects that are puzzling to us. Don't know what those are from. The keys are always so cool. The secrets of this Maison Bourgeoise seem locked away in the past for now, but we hope to reveal them all. We're looking forward to talking with the family that owned this house. They've sent us a lovely email suggesting we meet up to discuss the history when we have a chance. Bonjour, if you're watching. But for now, we're making a bunch of pretty uneducated guesses based mostly on Googling and then filling in the blanks with our wild imaginations. So we're in one of the old bedrooms here. It has the herring bone floor. It must have been pretty fancy at one time. Uh, it's on the street side. On both sides, there are hidden from view shelving systems or cabinets that open up and when you close them they hide away as if there's nothing there. There's one on each side and what we noticed is that you know that there's one there by a little cutout here in the molding. It's pretty obvious once you look at it. It's really not probably meant to be secret. It's just convenient. So what we think is that um, there's another one here that's been papered over and closed up. And in fact, we know that because we see the cutouts here in the trim and there's a place where that will separate. And there's also some hinges here. So this room is a little bit strange. Um, there's a bathroom here that probably wasn't there when it was built because they didn't have plumbing then. Um, that was probably a dressing room, or there might not have been anything there at all. We're not certain about how old this, this part of the house is, but that is a bathroom. And that creates a nice little nook for a bed here um, that was pretty popular. And there's a door that allows you to get into bed from the side. In fact, it's right here. So the bed nook, it's very interesting. A lot of rooms have this. Um, a lot of places have this in France. Uh, what we think happened was that they wanted to put a bed on the wall with the uh, cabinets. And so to put a bed here, sticking out from the wall, you wouldn't want to have any cabinets behind it. So we think they papered them over um, to allow for that. So we want to know what's behind this wall and in this cabinet. Is there anything hiding in there? Did they leave us any treasures or secrets? Let's find out. Okay. So this should be the center where the two panels meet. Here, kind of 
across. And then there is a hinge, obviously, here, or a, it's where the two pieces meet. Yep. Definitely a hinge there. And I didn't mention this earlier, but there are locks on these. And if you look at the same level as the other ones and you feel, you can feel this cut out. It's right here. And we must have that key in our bag of keys. So, how does it open? Will it open? bet it's locked. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Uh, huh. Also, on the bottom, there is a power, some new electrical that went in there that may be blocking it from opening. But let's see. No, I think the lock has been removed. Maybe we need to remove the wallpaper. I don't know. I did cut it. Did you cut through the uh, wood piece at the right under the end of the wallpaper? The ledge? This? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not, I don't think it's joined. It might be still joined. Now there, under the wallpaper is some interesting old. Is there old wallpaper under there? Oh. Oh, cool. I don't know how old that is or what that is, but it is really cool. It's very pretty. Yeah, remove it carefully. It might be uh, might be worth saving. Might be a piece we can save. Hmm. I see. They drywalled this together here. In the middle? And it kind of glued it, yeah. They pasted it or they kind of drywalled it. Patrick got some of the plaster or whatever was gluing it together out of the way, but that wasn't enough. He decided to remove the hinges. The door wouldn't swing because of the electrical outlet blocking it. So he decided to remove the hinges so he could just lift the door off. By the way, the hinges and screws look quite old. I think it's gonna come along now. Okay, I'm waiting. Faded breath. Oh, there it goes. I hope mommy doesn't fall out. I hope a pot of gold. <clears throat> Are you ready for this? Yeah. And it's just an old closet. But is there anything cool in it? My God. There's cobwebs. 
The spiders have been loving it. Is there, is that an old newspaper? There's papers. There's what looks like a snake, which scared me just for a second. What is it? An old robe or something? I don't know. It looks like a piece of clothing. Yep. Oh man, there are so many cobwebs up here. I think there might be rolls of newspapers. Yeah, I want to see what... Uh, not newspapers. Uh, Dates? That's a wallpapers? Uh, wallpaper. And there's the piping for the heating system that we'll get in later. Look at those cobwebs. Everything, everything is literally like... It's like a haunted house. A haunted house black. So, I found lots of cobwebs. And some remnants of when they were in here to put in the heating system. Uh -huh. And then I found some old rolls of wallpaper. Okay. Can you take them out? Mm -hmm. Take out a sample. Ooh, I can see the clouds of dust. It is filthy. Very interesting. It's like felt on paper. It's flocked. No idea how old it is. And then that's all up here. Oh, what are the other ones? They're all there's more of it. Oh, you mean wallpaper is all that's up there? Yeah, and there's some sort of tube. Tube. Is it for a draft blocker? I have no idea what this is. I've never seen this. It's like filled with fabric or horse hair or something. It's just stuffed up here haphazardly. There's a disintegrated piece of cloth. It's literally dust. And then there's this thing, someone should know what that is. It looks like. Isn't that the end of a, is the end of a curtain rod? Yeah. Although the end of the axle has been. Or it's made, a wheel. Made into a point, yeah. It looks like a. A wheel to a. A toy. But here, let me hand you that, that to you. That's the only thing. Super interesting in here. Oh, I want to see all the wallpaper. It's all the same. It's all the same pattern? It's all the same. Oh. And I think they used it to line this thing at one point. It all feel well. As for this old wallpaper here, it seems rather unusual. I'm no expert, of course, but I've been doing a deep dive on the history of wallpaper, and I haven't seen anything really similar to this pattern. It's kind of like a toile de jouy design, but more colorful. Those are typically printed in a single color. And of course, they don't usually have bold linear stripes and floral elements like this. The style is also similar to some chinoiserie designs I've seen, but it doesn't have the usual stereotypical and watered down depictions of Chinese life. For instance, the buildings don't look like pagodas. The woman is wearing more of a European style dress Though her parasol looks like it could be Chinese, the boy is pretty nondescript in style. He could be from Asia or he could be from Europe. And the floral designs don't seem to depict Asian flowers, and I don't see any animals at all. 
If you have any info on this type of wallpaper, please let us know in the comments. Hey y'all, before we go any further, we just want to make, make it clear that our intention is not to destroy this room. We're stripping it back to its oldest parts so we can understand it better. Our philosophy is to keep and restore what we realistically can and do a sympathetic update on the rest. We'd like to keep this room and the whole house connected to its history, but also make it comfortable to use today. We don't want to live in a museum. Okay, where were we? This is some kind of panel that was put over. There used to be something here, I think, like a, we're gonna find out. We're gonna pull that off. Okay. Come. What is it? Nothing. But we soon had an exciting discovery. More boiserie hiding under the wallpaper. Visions of painted paneling danced in my head. The mirror above the fireplace is one of those really old ones. You can tell the age because of the seam and the top third because they couldn't make glass bigger than that bottom piece at the time. What's odd about this mirror though is the way that it was mounted. It's not flush with the wall. It's hung on a thick piece of wood that protrudes out from the wall so it doesn't really seem like it's original to the room. Can you see the angle of the slope on this floor? It's pretty dramatic. I was sitting with my legs flat on the floor, but look how much higher my right shoe is than my left. We didn't show you the gory details, but Patrick also found a mouse nest in that cabinet, complete with a tiny, perfect mouse skeleton and a lot of chewed up newspaper. He's sifting through it to see if he can find any dates. That's dedication. So, now that you've seen all the evidence, what do you think? Just how old is this house? Drop your theories in the comments. We're leaving this room alone for now. We've probably already disturbed the ghosts enough. Gotta stay on their good side. But we're soon going to dive into renovating this bathroom. What's our philosophy on integrating modern bathrooms into historic houses that predate plumbing? And are we keeping the bidet? Find out all of that and more in our next video. Thanks for watching.